right. So it is Sunday, and that means it is time to share with you how I did on my weekly goals. If you don't know, this is something we've been doing for 17 weeks now, is kind of sharing with you what my goals are and tracking them and reporting on every Sunday. You'll see there's kind of five, you know, five different categories. And uh, based on my recollection, this is the first week that was just blah. You know, I want to say it was a, a pretty terrible week. Uh, but when you look at, you know, when I step back and realize what's going on out there, um, that's a stretch, right? Still have food on the table, still with my loved ones, um, you know, lots, lots of other stuff going on in the world. So I'll just say it was a blah week. Don't really feel good about anything uh, that was accomplished last week. Got to look myself in the mirror and, you know, get after it this week. And that starts today, right? Today's reporting day, which also means it's day one of a new week. And um, need to step up and do, you know, really, really get after these things if they are as important to me as I believe they are. So let me just share with you what I mean. And uh, again, not every week is good. Not every week is good. And this, uh, this week, again, I'll just call blah. So we're already into week four. Uh, as you can see, we did our first 13-week period back here at the bottom, December 1st to February 29th. This 13-week period is going to take us from March 1st to May 31st. So this is week four. Start off with health. This is the one that really kicked it off for me. Uh, if you go back and look at the older videos, I started this at 2.04, uh, which is the heaviest I personally have ever been and was not feeling great. Uh, so set up some goals. Was really cruising. Um, you know, setting up 30, 30, running 30 miles a week. And, uh, this week didn't even get close. Um, combination of, uh, weather, uh, was pretty bad in the Bay area. Don't like to run in the rain, especially with everything going on. Don't want to get sick, keep the immune system strong. Uh, also, um, these stay at home orders have become more strict. Uh, they're asking you to stay within, um, walking distance of your house and historically I've gone on a four mile run out and a four mile run back that way if I can run four miles which is pretty easy I have to run four miles back because I can't just stop uh, and now when I'm just doing loops around my house it's easy to cut a run off short so I got to figure that out uh, the fasting thing is still working doing that five days a week changing it up every once in a while but uh, didn't need as clean um, and you know, I paid, paid the price and gained two pounds from last week. You know, I'd lost six pounds, if you look at it there, the, the previous two weeks and gained two in just seven short days. So um, not happy about that. Uh, then across the board, we've kind of seen a drop off in social media impact. Uh, we only had 9,000 listens on YouTube, which again, in context, my goal was 6,000. Uh, but again, I'm putting out two or three videos a day and uh, didn't hit the mark as much as the previous couple of weeks. Uh, as you can see, week two and week three were interesting. Uh, we're far better. Podcast listens, again, negative trend went down again, but exceeded the goal. Uh, so again, stuff going on. YouTube subscribers, this one hurts. I put out original content every day. I'm trying to tackle top of mind issues. and. I had a horrible week of subscribers. I'm actually going to go back to the previous 13 weeks and see the last time I had only 52. So we'd have to go way back to week three. So 10 weeks ago, 11 weeks ago to have such a, I don't know, poor performance. And this is 100% on me. I'm not asking for subscribers. I'm not asking for shares. I'm sure if I did that, this would increase. I'm not speaking enough on other podcasts and the like. So definitely, definitely my issue. Uh, Instagram subscribers also missed the mark. Uh, I think I've only hit it once um, during this cycle. Uh, we only gained 31 Instagram subscribers. So again, I'm paying someone to do this. Uh, so not, uh, not working out. As far as the business goes, uh, I did write one offer on a cheap house. Uh, and I wrote it cheap, right? I think it was asking 75 and I wrote it for 50. 
because uh, again, I want to find the most motivation. I think it's early in this cycle to find true motivated sellers, but we'll see and I'll keep you informed. Nothing produced this week by the wholesalers uh, at the hub. Probably not to be, you know, not, not to be surprised. They're all stay at home orders because we're in California. Uh, did have one deal come across from my network that I looked at, still overpriced. Lots of wholesalers are still listing things at yesterday's prices and not tomorrow's prices. So uh, we may have a 30-day a window where, you know, lots of wholesalers leave this business because they're not profitable and they're just burning cash. As for marketing, it really shut down last week. Um, you know, we were running things that were already in flight, but nothing new got started. Uh, I don't want to run any ads that are negative, right? There was talk or suggestions on social media about running, um, you know, creating content or marketing around this health event. That is not something I will do. I'm a positive person and I won't capitalize on that. Uh, certainly won't scare anybody. So um, if declined to participate in any of that. Uh, so we will see. As far as cash flow increases, uh, you know, we're not, you know, there's three things you can do, right? We can add new stuff, we can pay off debt, or we can raise rents. We are not raising rents in this environment. That is not okay. Uh, we are not paying off any debt. We're keeping cash just to see so we can limp, you know, we can get through this. Uh, and again, uh, we haven't found any solid additions just yet, uh, but we're pretty confident that we will uh, this year. Spending on things is pretty easy. We're not going anywhere. We're cooking at home. Um, so that's pretty easy. We're not, not buying anything. Nothing unique other than we stayed home for seven days. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe we need to do a movie marathon or something and just pop some popcorn or have some fun. I don't know. Uh, but that uh, this week, this last week was, I did not enjoy last week. This week I'm reporting on is probably been the most bummer week I've had in two years. It just, nothing seemed to click. Um, yeah, just, just feel off and got to shake that off. Uh, did do continue to do a couple hours of original content. Uh, it did not seem to hit the mark as previous weeks, but we will see. Didn't sell a lot of books. Uh, again, a little bit more than last week, but 34 books. Uh, part of this is probably because people are just nervous, right? They're just hunkering in place and Nobody wants to think about adding rentals, I guess, in this environment, which is to be expected. It's actually why I will be greedy because everybody else is, is pulling back. So I will lean in and likely get a lot of deals this year. But I understand. I understand. Uh, we did get four more reviews. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you have this book and you haven't yet given an Amazon or Audible review yet, do me a favor. Uh, I'm putting out hours of content every week for free. Uh, if you could take 20, 30, 40 seconds and leave a review. That would be awesome. If it's a five-star review, double awesome. Uh, I'd appreciate that. So we had four reviews on Amazon and I think only, yeah, one review on Audible. So uh, need some help. If you're an Audible listener, uh, do me a favor. Take a minute to leave a quick five-star review. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, we did sell 21 books on Audible this last week. Um, again, below my hope and my goal, but um, that's where we are. Did have some people take the free course. This is probably the only highlight of the week. Uh, seven people took the uh, free course and five people signed up for the paid course. This does make me feel good. This is the only uh, variable of the week that I was even somewhat happy with because it, you know, the course that I've created, you know, how to get started one rental at a time is absolutely without question the best thing I've done. Um, I priced it at $199, which is ridiculously cheap for the value it gives. Um, you know, we did a video yesterday with a student, Troy, uh, talking about his experience with Burr. And he talks about how it helped him create focus and confidence and move forward. Uh, lot, lots of students are already seeing a changing market, which is what the course is about, is understanding and knowing your market. So really proud about that. Um, no t-shirt sales, not surprising. Don't really publish those. Um, so I may need to stop that Shopify account. I don't know. Uh, and then as far as donations, we are gearing up to make a don another donation to um, likely Fresno's um, food bank. Now we are hearing stress in the system and want to do our part to help with that. So we will likely make another donation early 
uh, to that. We're, we're in communication with them now. So that's what we're doing. Week four was kind of rotten. Yeah. So again, not every week is good. I know that. Um, I've been lucky. What was that? 16 weeks in a row. I felt pretty good. This last week, nothing seemed to go right. Never got the momentum. Knew all the goals were there. So weekly tracking helps. Sharing with you helps. Uh, I am pleased with the uh, paid course. Uh, I forgot what it was, five or six uh, that joined. You're going to change your financial future because the market is changing. It's giving you a glimpse into what's going on. So pretty cool. But yeah, I got to get after it today. Um, this might be my last video of the day. I may do one right at the end of the day just to kind of set up tomorrow. But I got to get, I got to start running. Got to watch what I'm eating. Uh, it hurts to get those two pounds back. That's uh, that's one hundred percent on me. So let me know what's what's going on in your world. Was uh, was last week rough? It was rough for me. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say. Have fun. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. Ask your friends to join. Um, very disappointed in my use my new YouTube subscriptions this uh, this last week, and that is one hundred percent on me for not asking. So have a great day. Take care.